Hello and welcome to our discussion of the CCNA CyberOps Lab 1.1.1.4. In this lab, you're going to set up the virtual machine environment using VirtualBox that will be needed for all the labs in chapters 1 through 10 of CCNA CyberOps. In chapter 11, 12, and 13, you will use a multi VM setup that we will go over later in the course. So, to begin with, the first thing you need to do is open up the lab. Inside the lab, it will talk about what is required. You do need a computer with at least 2 gigs of RAM and 8 gigs of free disk space, and then high speed internet to download VirtualBox and the virtual machine image. Be aware, VirtualBox, once you click to go to VirtualBox, you can download VirtualBox for your particular platform. Uh, in this case, you've got a Windows installer, 64-bit or 32-bit, so I'm going to go ahead and download the installer. So it's 109 megs, so it may take a little bit of time depending on how fast your internet connection is. You will also need to, let's click back here to go back to my lab. You also need to download uh, an OVA or OVF, which is, it's an OVA that allows you to um, package an entire virtual machine as one file. We're going to download that with the link here. Now this particular file, this .ova, is 2.2 gigs. It is going to take a fairly large amount of time for this to download. So give yourself some time and let it download. I'm going to pause and come back once it has fully downloaded. Okay, now that I've got both VirtualBox and the OVA downloaded to my PC, I'm going to run through the VirtualBox installation. You'll notice it says download the appropriate uh, version of VirtualBox for your system and then install it using all the defaults. So I'm just going to run through here, accept all the defaults. And it's going to reset my network interfaces, which is fine. And it will go through and it'll take a few minutes to install VirtualBox 5.2.6. Again, I will pause while this installation takes place. Okay, now that I have VirtualBox installed, I'm going to now import the appliance, and that is the OVA that we have downloaded. So in VirtualBox, you go File, Import Appliance, locate the directory where you have downloaded the OVA. So I'm going to click on this OVA, CyberOps Workstation. Let it import that in. Click Next. You need to check. You'll notice in the directions it says, make sure you check the reinitialize the MAC addresses. If you do not do this, you will have problems with MAC addresses uh, interfering with one another. So we're going to import it. And at this point, you wait for the machine to be imported into VirtualBox. And in this case, it doesn't take very long because it takes, this is not a huge image and not a big uh, machine at all. So we'll let that continue there. And then we're going to just start the virtual machine and log into it. Now, at that point, you will be able to do any of the labs that use the CCNA CyberOps virtual machine workstation. So about 10 seconds here, we'll have it imported. And this will also be the exact same method you use to import any of the other OVAs that will be used later in the class in chapters 11, 12, and 13. We'll be using a Security Onion, a Kali, and uh, another uh, Linux box. Again, I'm going to pause until this finishes. Okay, so the workstation has been imported into VirtualBox. By the way, if you are running VMware Workstation on your machine already, it is perfectly okay to also install VirtualBox. They will not in any way harm each other or cause problems. So if you're used to using VMware Workstation for this course, since it is designed around VirtualBox, I would prefer that you go ahead and load VirtualBox and use it. Now, just click Start, and the virtual machine will begin loading. And you can see it loading now. Normal Linux boot. And you see here it says virtual ports that so does not support mouse pointer integration. So it'd be fine. This means you click inside in order to, to get access to the to the virtual machine.
And so now the username is uh, analyst and the password is cyberops. So analyst and cyberops, which will be the passwords we use for almost everything in this course. And then you will see you've got a Linux box, which is available to you. You can open up terminals. You have applications available, different CyberOps applications, Wireshark, um, just all the different items that you will need for this course. Now, when you get done with the course, there's a couple ways you can shut the machine down. You've got analysts, so you can just go shut down here. And so when you're done with it, you can do that, and it will actually shut the machine down. And then when you come back to it later, you can start it back up. So this has been a brief introduction on how to use VirtualBox to deploy the CyberOps Workstation Virtual Machine, which is the workstation machine used for the labs in chapters 1 through 10 of CCNA CyberOps. I hope it's been helpful.